Hello everyone, this is a very quick revision. Mathematics from 1, chapter 8, line, Lines and Angles, part 2. So in this part 2, we are going to deal with angle. Number 1, determine the value of Z and Y. So given a straight line here, the angle on a straight line is 180. So 110 plus Z, 110 plus Z is equals to 180 because this is these are the angles on the straight line. So Z equals to 180 minus 110, which is 70 degrees. And when you have two straight lines, this angle and this angle are called vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles have the same value, meaning that Y equals to 110 degrees. Now we go to question number two. Determine the value of X and Y, given that all these are straight lines. So if DB is straight line, meaning that 59 plus X equals to 180 because the, the angles on the straight line are 180. So 59... Whereas AC is also a straight line, hence Y plus 90 degrees plus 59 is 180. So Y plus 90 plus 59 equals to 180. Question, question 3. You have a pair of parallel lines and a transversal which intersects with the, the pair of parallel lines. When this happens, there are angles formed by the lines. Okay, so angle A and angle G, these are a pair of interior angles. Because you can relate the two angles by using the letter C. Can you see that this is the shape? The C, C, Okay, so this angle and this angle are a pair of interior angles. Whereas D and G, D and G, you can relate these two angles by using the letter S or Z. So this angle and this angle, this is D and G. These are a pair of alternate angles. E and C, E and C, okay, is you can use the uh, capital letter F so you can see that the two angles here E and C are corresponding angles so by using the word C Z or S and F using this we can identify the interior angles, alternate angles and corresponding angles and why we need to identify the angles? Because if we can identify the interior angles, we know that the two angles, the total of the two angles is equal to 180. For example, angle A plus angle G equals to 180 degrees. If we can identify alternate angles, we know that alternate angles have the same value. And if we can identify corresponding angles, we also know that corresponding angles have the same value. Okay, so B and G, corresponding angles. D, E, interior angles. And lastly, A, E, A, E, alternate angles. Question 4. Find the value of A and B. So from this... Um, Diagram. Since this uh, line and this line are parallel lines, we know that A is interior and uh, A and this angle are interior angles. The angle A and this angle are corresponding angles. Since these are corresponding angles, means they have the same value. So this part here has the value of A, and since this is a straight line, the angle on a straight line is supposed to be 180. So A plus 45 equals to 180. From there, we solve. B, you can see that there is another pair of uh, parallel lines here. So B is actually interior angles to 80 plus 45. Okay? This angle. 
So you can see that there's a C here, C. So this angle and this angle, they are interior angles. So if we can identify the interior angles, we know that B plus 45 plus 80 is equals to the total of 180 degrees. Find the value of M. So since this angle, uh, this line and this line are parallel lines, hence this angle and the total angle here it are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles have a total of 180. So 105 plus 40 plus M equals to 180. Question number 6. Find the value of M. So given this line RS and the line PQ are a pair of parallel lines, hence this angle and the total angle here, this angle, are a pair of alternate angles. Alternate angles have the same value, meaning that 90 plus M equals to the total, which is 112. So M equals to 112 minus 90, you get 22. Question number 7. If the angle of elevation of the boy from the fish, the boy from the fish is 60. So this angle B actually is the angle is the angle of elevation. And we know that this is 60. And the angle of depression of the boy of the boy from the bird of the boy from the bird means the angle of depression is at here. Uh, angle of depression is 30, so A is 30. Find the value of the angle PQR. Okay, so if we draw another horizontal line here, this horizontal line will be parallel to this horizontal line and will be parallel to this horizontal line. If this are a pair of uh, parallel lines, hence the angle here and this angle, they are alternate angles and alternate angles have the same value which is 30. Again here, this angle and this angle are alternate angles and they have the same value which is 60. Hence, the angle PQR, PQR, the angle PQR equals to 30 plus 60 which is 90 degrees. That's all, thank you.